In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can make some very impressive fade-in and fade-out effects in an audio track using AudioDirector. This is for those of you who have PowerDirector 365 with AudioDirector included, or those of you who have purchased AudioDirector separately or are interested in the product. What I have on the screen are three different audio tracks. Now, when you click in the upper left corner, the one that's blue is the one that you will see in the preview screen with the waveform. So I have three separate ones, and when I click, I see three very different waveforms for these audio files. A couple things to note is that if I want to play it, obviously I can press the spacebar or click the play button, but I can play the one that's not active by hovering over it and clicking on the very small triangle in the circle. That will play the one that's not active on the screen. So if I click this one, so I don't have to have that one active in order to remember what it sounds like. That's a nice feature. But so we have three of these and I'm going to work on this middle one because it has a very aggressive beginning that I might want to tamper down with a bit of a fade. I'm going to click on the yellow triangle and shorten that by clicking on the scissors to cut the empty space out at the beginning. And now let's apply some fades. To do that, we click on the adjustment panel on the lower left quadrant, and I'm going to click on the adjust audio. If I click on the triangle next to the words, it will give me all the audio adjustments I have in my audio director. I'm going to click also now in Fade Options, the second one down. I notice that I have Fade In and Fade Out. The default is a Fade In, and the default is a Linear. You notice the minute I open the panel, I have this blue straight line that appears on the left side. It starts at the first second of the audio track, and then moves in to a point dictated by this gray bar. We'll show you more about that in a moment. But let's just listen to this with a linear fade. The initial volume is set to 50%. Now if you want to hear it better, the way you can change the duration of the fade is simply by clicking on the gray box at the top and dragging to the right. It will give you the time code where you can adjust the length of the fade. This one will be easier for you to hear. So we have a linear fade from 50% as we start to this moment in our time code of 100%. Let's move the initial volume back to 20% and play it now. So you can control the initial threshold by adjusting this slider at the very bottom. You can actually start out with a 0%. We'll play that. So that's a linear fade, and you can control the uh, duration of the fade to be as long as the clip is itself simply by moving the slider. I tend not to want to use a linear. There are two others that I think are lots of fun. We'll start, move it back to a 50% initial volume. The middle one that we have here, if we hover over it, we'll see that that is a different kind of fade completely. That's a logarithmic fade. And that one starts out and it climbs very rapidly and then it slows down toward maximum volume. Let's listen to this kind of fade. The one I like to use the most is the third one over, and this fade is starts slowly and then it increases at the end so you have the exponential fade in this direction with this kind of curve. Let's listen to this. Notice that it will start out more slowly, but then it will increase at a more rapid rate. Now you can also do a fade out. You can do a fade in and a fade out. Or if I uncheck the fade in, 
I'm just going to check the fade out and notice we have the same features reversed on the other end. So I can take a fade out and I can curve it this way so it fades out more dramatically toward the end. And let's listen to that. We'll move our time code over here and play. Quite a difference. Let's listen to the original audio on that segment. So you can adjust the beginning and the ending, one or the other, or both. Now when you're satisfied with what you've done, let's go back to the option where we're going to do a fade in. And let's say I'm happy with what I've done. I want to make this permanent. All I need to do is click on the Apply button, and that will apply my adjustment. And I have a screen that pops up that tells me the adjustment's complete. And you notice it actually changed the waveform. So this is a real nice feature of CyberLink Audio Director. And when you're done, you can produce the audio and use it in your video production.